Yeah, they sure did, and all the meeting lasted about three hours. Evacuees are demanding to know why there weren't more firefighters and communication when the fire broke out, and also some of them wanted to know why their homes were left undefended. Cal Fire says simply put, much of the state was under siege by flames and wind. Some of my neighbors have lost everything, and I'm not sure tonight if my house is standing. Please answer that. A packed and sometimes angry house at Taft High School. State Senator Henry Stern tried to reassure the crowd, explaining he's also in limbo. I still don't know if my home is standing, and I don't know if my grandparents' home is standing. The community meeting at Taft High School was a who's who of agency heads, all gathered under one roof to give updates on everything from school closures to evacuations and new fire dangers. One question they couldn't answer is when President Trump will declare a disaster and free up federal funds. Um, right now it's spending, but one of the things that people could do now to start preparing is call their insurance company, you know, make sure that they have that phone number and if they could take photos of any damages. Adding to the frustration, deputies say it could be days before people in Malibu and other areas can go home. And days are going by with evacuees like Denise Pepper not knowing if they have a home to go back to. But you know, when you're in this position, it's, you're homeless. I, I, I mean... There's nothing. Thank God I have my husband and we have our two dogs. You know, so whatever help we could get, and you want answers now, you do. We know many of you are anxiously awaiting word on your homes. That's why CBS LA is compiling our aerial footage of the burn areas and putting it on our website, cbsla.com. Your home might be on it. So far, we have posted videos of West Hills, Bell Canyon, and Malibu, but we are working on adding more, so keep checking back. Again, that's on our website, cbsla.com. In the meantime, more with, with more winds on the way, Cal Fire says 200 engines are coming into the area from other states. Live in Woodland Hills, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.